Alrighty, yo, what is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. DDG94, back with another reaction video. Uh, hopefully, that shit ain't fucked up. Uh, with another reaction video today, we're going to react to CJ the Champ. That's right, we bring a CJ back. I said, why not? Why not bring back CJ? Um, I'm going to be very careful with what I choose to react to from CJ at this point in time because I still do have a copyright strike and I need to be on my P's and Q's so like I said if any of these videos get blocked it's never gonna see the light of day I'm not appealing it I'm not fighting it I can't do shit right now I'm powerless you know what I'm saying once we off the, sh the copyright strike a hey, free reign but till then we just gonna play it safe right now with CJ. So this is the most disrespectful moments in anime history six. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Cause God dog, bro. This is when it just went from zero to hundred. This man's poker bitch started whooping. Bro starting to hit it with the combos. Hit look, good check, nigga. I lost to Jesus. Somebody get in the ring and help this Ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the most disrespectful moments in anime history 6. The series that we observe some of the most outlandish, vile, and disgusting acts ever committed and to be seen by the human eye. And since this is episode 6, why not put 6 moments instead of 4? Okay. y'all be liking these long ass videos, I don't know why, but hey, I mean, if you like them, I guess I'll keep on doing them. But anyways, but, uh, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, no attack right, of the titan. That's fine. The first me. moment. Itachi little bro and Sasuke. Ah, yes, the time where we didn't know anything. The time that we thought that this man killed his entire clan for absolutely no reason at all. But anyways, as we know, Itachi and Kisame pulled up to the leaf. And they was not playing games, bro, before they even got to If you hear something in the background, that's my fan. Also, my mic is uh I think it's getting a shortage. It's okay. I got a blue. I got a blue snowball on the way. Just ordered it on Amazon. Should be here either tomorrow or Tuesday. One of the two. So I have a new microphone by then. So don't even trip. We about to get rid of the good old trusty five dollar microphone that I got from fucking five and below. Shit didn't even last me that long. Damn, bro. You going outside? I'm talking to a microphone. You're supposed to talk to a microphone. That's how you... Y'all know what I mean. I'm talking to an inanimate object. A Naruto. This man Itachi put Kakashi in the nastiest genjutsu. He was stabbing this nigga for 72 hours. Damn. Bro, put this man on the stake. Absolutely torturing, bro. And he was like, Oh my, Kakashi. Don't give up on me now. We're just getting started. We still have 71 hours. 59 minutes and 59 seconds left. And this man Kakashi like, oh nah, bro, you telling me it's only been one second? Bullshit! Oh my god! So after he finished torturing this man for basically three days in the water, Sukiyomi, bro pulls up on Naruto and he's like, hey, what's good, little Go on and uh, huh, take a step outside for us real quick. Yes, that's right. Mm, Sami had us drooling from the mouth. It can't wait to gobble you up and swallow you. Yo, Kisame, shut the f*** up! <sighs> this nigga pain really partnered me with this zesty ass shark. Mm, you're such a buzzkill, Itachi. You have some fun. So then Sasuke pulls up, and bro is absolutely livid. And this man Itachi like, oh wow, look who it is. If it is my adolescent pain in the ass little brother. <laughs> Looks like you're not that much of a bitch than the last time I saw your little punk ass. So this man Sasuke just rushes this man with a Chidori, but bro slaps his shit to the side and grabs his hand, and he's like, wow, 
Is this all you got, little nigga? I really left your sorry ass alive for this. So bro shatters his wrist. It looks at him and he says, I have no interest in you, little boy. So bro kicks this man across the entire hallway. And he got this man slumped sitting in tornado drill position up against the wall. Damn. But then Sasuke got up again and started talking. So he started running at man. But Itachi was like, little boy, if you don't sit up. Be beat the brakes off of that. I remember this episode. Just watching it like, oh my god, this nigga is I remember this episode. This episode was dark, <laughs> bro. This was a dark ass Even episode. Jiraiya's like, damn, <laughs> could it be me? You gonna have to get six to jump me. Then Itachi picks this man up and starts chucking him on the wall. And he says, oh, as weak as ever, I see. Looks like you still a little punk ass bitch. Allow me to. Remind you of that day. Shit was so dark, bro. This shit was sad. I remember this shit. Uh, hello? Hey, yo, where is everybody at? This better not be no damn prank. Yo, what the fuck? Oh. Village. Slaughter. Oh, God, why is everybody passed out right now? Oh. Uh. Oh God, no, Auntie, Uncle, family oh, slaughter. Oh, oh f the niggas ain't breathing. The niggas dead. I just teleported to this big ass fucking door. Why am I shaking in my boots? Wait, wait. I don't even have my fucking shoes. Why are my toes out? Hello, mom, dad. Parent slaughter. Oh, what do we have here? If it isn't my little boy. Hey, hey, bro, what the f going on? <laughs> nigga, are you blind? <laughs> I obviously killed these niggas. But, 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 but why? <laughs> oh, so little do you know, Sasuke. To save you the trouble, I'll start off with mother. That lazy, lousy bitch. <laughs> Always making me do the chores. Folding the laundry, washing the dishes. Sasuke, do you know how fucking old that shit gets? And with no allowance. But, but, brother, those are just chores. Shut up! <laughs> and then, father, this lazy clown of a bum. Just the other day, I caught him flirting with a red-haired woman from the Uzumaki clan. To say the least, little brother, he was cheating. <laughs> Impossible! No, Sasuke. Very possible. Now I shall make you watch them die for 24 hours. <laughs> you smell that, Sasuke? That Uchiha pack is hitting. Yeah. Hey, Itachi's put that little nigga through the ringer. Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Our next moment, Killer B Dog Walking Sasuke. God damn, you just got out of Sasuke getting... I get... swear, I didn't mean to put Sasuke <coughs> getting dogged twice in a row. Facts, bro. This come on, man. Right here, you knew when I first started this series, this was going to come eventually. Yeah. But anyways, Sasuke and his new little ragtag crew are basically what I like to call them Orochimaru's illegitimate children. Decide to pull up on B. Now this man B just vibing, bro. He's just chilling, relaxing, enjoying his day, throwing some bars out and sh And then his ops just pull up to his front door. Hey boy, you the eight tails ginger kid, right? <laughs> Not just eight tails, Lord eight tails the fuck. What the fuck y'all niggas doing on my goddamn lawn, man? Simple. We're about to jump you. Oh, okay, okay. I get the situation. But before we do that, though, y'all heard that new white spice? That what? You thought I was killing you? Hey, bro, if you don't shut the fuck up, nobody ain't trying to hear that shit. Man, shut your hating ass up. You just mad because you ain't a munch. God, somebody hold me back. I'm about to suck the fuck out of this goofy-ass nigga. Goofy? <laughs> Let me see. Through my telescope, I see one, two, three, four. Four goofy off niggas on my front door. Hey, bro, how about we just quit playing and jump this Dr. Seuss Horton his who rhyming ass nigga? You ain't gotta tell me twice, cut. So they just start jumping B and everybody's just getting mollywhopped. 
Bruh started twirling the sword on his neck and was just whacking man like a Beyblade. He packed this man Jugo up so fast, threw him like a piece of trash, then proceeded to just start dissing him. So then Sasuke finally stepped up. He was like, all right, then, <laughs> come on, run that fade then. So they start doing all the spinning and stuff. And then they end up stopping. And this man B pulls out a whole ass notepad and starts writing in the middle of a fight. Damn. Hey, bro, what the f are you doing? Oh, my bad, my boy. Hold on one second. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I like that right there. <laughs> my bad, my boy. <laughs> I just had to write down this fire ass verse before I cook your ass. Boy, ain't no fucking way, bro. <laughs> no. No, 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 bro. This man took the time to start writing down a whole verse mid-fight. The straight up lack of respect is appalling. Imagine you fighting and, and he's saying, oh my bad, bro, my mama calling, can you hold real quick? Bro, stop the fade, cause he know he's still gonna whoop his ass. <laughs> nah, bro, that is wild, that's just disrespectful as hell. So then this man starts using nine sword style and just starts running Sasuke's pocket. Bro is backing up for his life. Even Sasuke like, oh God, my shark, I can't keep up with this nigga. So bro started tossing him around, countered his Chidori, and it was like, I like a butterfly, sting like a bee. So then Sasuke gets bailed out for the first time in this fight. And I say first time because this man got bailed out multiple times this fight. So then he started munching on Karin. So then they was like, all right, bro. There's only one way to beat this man. We just gonna have to jump him. So they started jumping him. And this man is still teeing off on him. Look at this movement diff. So they finally ended up landing a hit. So he dipped off for a minute. I was like, hmm, so persistent. Bum ass niggas, but we smooth as Zaza of this motherfucker. That Uchi hot pack be hitting hard as a motherfucker. I don't even know what I'm saying right now, but. So bro goes eight tails, blasts these niggas off of the mountain. Sasuke tries to hit him with a gig jutsu, but bro bypasses it and gives this man the nastiest kills. Like, bro, that his throat is gone. Shattered, eviscerated. That man's jaw is broken. And they like, oh my god, impossible. Sasuke's getting his pockets ran. Where the f is the plot armor, nigga? So then B goes into full on eight tails mode. Then he starts fighting Sue gets in this big ass kaiju battle. So bros like, who the f you think you is, Aquaman, nigga? I eat deep amphibian motherfucker. I got something for you. Uh Hey, bro, what was that? Ugh, I think B hit him with that yeet bell. Oh my goodness, bro. He absolutely blasted this man. He literally turned this man into nut. Pause, but look at him. Even Sasuke like, oh my God, bro. We ran up on the wrong nigga. But I mean, we all know how this fight ended. That plot armor kicked in for Sasuke and he started burning man to go to Matarasu. But come on. Man. We all know, bro, this man got whooped. If none of his crew was there, his ass would have been grass. Because the fact that this man took the time out of his day to write some bars down right in front of your face, then proceeded to whoop your ass? Nah, bro, you should have been six feet under. All right, uh, next up on the program, Gunja <coughs> running Ichigo's pockets. Well, I mean, since uh, Bleach is back, why not put some bleach in here? But first of all, we need to acknowledge the fact that this man Grimjow is a absolute smoke demon. I mean, you can tell this is a crazy ass that just by his last name, Jagger Jack. I can't even pronounce that shit. That's how you know he a demon. But anyways, Waco Mundo's most notorious op ended up pulling up on Ichigo and Rukia. And dog wasn't wasting no time. Bro was like, all right, listen up. Uh, which one of y'all the strongest? Like straight up, like don't waste my time. So bro straight up. Fist is Rukia in the stomach. Oh, she looking like my stomach hurt. And girl, <laughs> like, oh, guess it ain't your weak ass. Go ahead and uh, move to the side for me, will you? So then Ichigo tried to attack him, but bro stopped it with his wrist. And bro's like, bro, if you don't get this fat ass butter knife off of me, hey, bro, for real though, uh, when you gonna use your bankai? Huh? Like, for real, bro, come on now, transform, you bullshit, you wasting time. Now, come on now, chop, chop, before I put a hole in your ass like that bitch over there. So they started to get the scrap, and this man Ichigo looked like he could just not keep up at all. Bro grabbed his sword mid-swing and looked at him like, really? Is this your Bankai, nigga? Man, if you don't get this sorry ass shit out of my face. Bro was for real throwing man's like a ragdoll. 
Then he read this man's movement like a book, grabbed his sword mid-swing again, then he kicked the life out of bro, made him do a whole 360, and he said man's flying, doing backflips and shit. Made him run a red light. Then man's blissed him and kicked the soul out of him. And Ichigo looking like, damn, maybe this soul reaper life ain't for me. <laughs> but no, no. You see, it just got worse from here. Jin Zhao started walking him down, picked him up, and started laying the hands on him. Like, yo, it got so bad, it started playing this sad-ass music in the background, and Ichigo was just thinking about his life. Bro got snapped by another nigga. Rukia got fisted right in front of him. Damn. I guess I'm just not him right now. Boy, that all you got? You was not being creepy. You sure you the protagonist? Cause that was a little too easy, my boy. Hey, boy. Time to go home. Oh, uh, shit. Toast. What's your blonde black ass doing here? Hey, boy. I was mad. man. I ain't gonna hold you, cuz. We gotta get back to base pronto. Shit, cool. all right, then. Hey, hey, before I leave, though. Hey, boy, you best remember my name, the Waco Mundo Demon. You best come back and get it back in blood, or else you a bitch. What about mama, nigga? All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, next up on the program. Spopovich rocking Riddell's world. Yeah, I I'm bringing this one out, bro. Like I said earlier with the B one, this was just inevitable. Ladies and gentlemen, the most brutal beat down in anime history. So as we know, it's the world- Oh, shit! Oh, I remember this one. He whooped her ass, bro. God damn, I remember this one. He whooped her ass. Oh my god, I remember this one. I was thinking to myself, I was like, wait a minute, what? Name sound familiar. Then this shit popped up. I'm like, oh! <laughs> it just came back to me, man. It just came back to me. Oh, I love Dragon Ball. I love Dragon Ball. Ah, oh, man. White smoke, bitch. And yet, I remember and this. Something was wrong with this shit from the I jump. I remember I mean, this. Look at this nigga. Motherfucker look like a buff ass crackhead with an M tattooed on his head. He will so hurt he ass. Fine, but there was team off on man. It looked like easy money at the beginning. At the but beginning. something was terribly wrong. Bro was not going down at all. And I love how Goku and Vegeta were the first people to notice something was wrong. Goku looked at this be like, yo, you seeing this shit right now? Yeah. Hey, that M tat on his forehead look kind of bad. I think I'll go for So, of course, this man Gohan was oblivious. I was like, yeah, that's my girl, y'all. <laughs> you got this, boo. But then Goku said, yo, she should quit right now. Wait, Dad, what you mean? Yeah, Goku, what the f you mean about that? Krillin, shut the f up. I'm talking to my son right now. Gohan, tell your girl to quit right now, or you're right. going to regret it, my boy. You're going to regret it. Shut up. You best get the f up. I ain't let no pussy ass bitch marry my son. Yeah, that's right. Tell her, Chi-Chi. So then Videl starts flying, right? So then Gohan started to get happy again, but then this man Goku said, hm, stupid idiot. She should just fill out the f***ing ring. Dad, yeah, come on, bro. You've been gone for seven f***ing years and you already caused some problems and shit. Yep, and guess what? I'm still your daddy, bitch. Father knows best. Yep. I mean, look at him, Gohan. He doesn't even look sane. So then Videl kicked this man's head so far. His head did a 180. But then bro got back up and fixed his head. Nope, nope, nope. This is when you should have quit. Cause God no, bro. This is At that point, forfeit. You hit him with your best move. This nigga head, this nigga head went all the way back. And then he put it back in place. I quit. Forfeit. This is when it just went from zero to a hundred. This man's Popovich started he to roll. He was starting to with the combos. Hit put, good check, nigga. Oh, oh Lord, sweet Jesus. Somebody get in the ring and help this bitch. Then bro started hitting her with more combos. Then he broke her back. Then bro started beating her. Nah, bro, this is stupid. Bro picked her up again and said, hmm, hmm. 
and everybody in the crowd can't watch no more. Everybody like, hey, yo, just stop the fight, bro. And he hit him with the knee. Oh, my God, bro. GG, 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 GG. Game over, nigga. Then this man, Gohan, just started getting mad, bro. And Goku was like, I, 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 don't do it. I told you to tell him to quit, but he didn't want to listen to me. Now you're going to have to watch it. Bro, this was just terrible. Bro started stomping on her head. But then the other crackhead, Yamu, came in and said, Hey, it's Bubba, bitch. Quit playing with a little stupid ass and I'll just go ahead and kick her off the ring. Oh, man. Oh, oh it's over. Thank you, baby Jesus. So then Gohan came out, and this man, Spoken Bitch, looked at him like, <laughs> Hell does it mean that your girl got her back blown out by me before you? Damn. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, next up, I am a Koji body in class C. So this man Ryun, right? He got old girl up in here getting tortured. Bro pouring this cold ass water on her in this cold room. Trying to give her hypothermia or something. And he throwing that sh Lord, somebody please come and help this little girl. So they trying to get this man Ayana Koji to come out because he's a mastermind of his class. So bro pulls up outside of the place and this big ass nigga god Damn, what the f is they feeding you? Well, what are you doing at some random high school in Japan? You need to take your ass and I don't know where you want to go, the NBA or the NFL? Fact. You can choose, my nigga. You want to play linebacker or you want to play power forward? And his name is <laughs> Albert? Oh, no. no oh, no, no he goes to the NFL. He play. NFL bound. Hey, hey, hey! It's bad! <laughs> Wait a damn minute. Ain't no way in hell you the mastermind. This shit, I said that you can speak while you wouldn't miss in my presence. Uh, uh, no, no. That's right with all that gibber jabbery shit. Shut the f up. So I got this text message that one of my tools from my toolbox has gone missing. What, ho hold on, tool? Yes, <laughs> tool the f You know, goodness and will, I've been using her since day one. I literally set her up to get jumped, watched her get her ass beat, then blackmailed her right after it. Hey, bro, that's kind of devious. Yes, I know. Cause I'm a devious ass nigga. All right, bro, you may be devious, but uh, you about to get jumped. <laughs> jumped? No. You see, you got it all wrong. Because all of you have fallen into my trap. I personally am about to be all of y'all asses with no effort. Please don't jump my baby. Come get your ass off me. <laughs> okay, I like you, boy. Hey, sick of it, take his turn. <laughs> Nothing personal. But I'm about to bring you back. Oh, oh, just with Jesus, help me. <sighs> hey, hey, hey. Come on, boy. We I, I bet you best with that nigga ass, you D1 prospect. <sighs> I ain't no you could. <laughs> oh, oh, sweet Jesus. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, oh, not damn, my black brother. A D1 prospect going to Alabama to play linebacker. So which one of y'all next? Mrs. Bowl Cut or you, nigga? <laughs> I know Caprera. Now, it's just me and you. Ah, uh, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, that's come funny. my fate. Oh, shit. <laughs> come on, bro. Don't tell me they hyped you up all this time just to be trash. <laughs> they just need to stop playing with my name. Yeah, yeah. Hey, like that. I got you pinned on a wall. If you don't stop talking with your hot ass breath, get your unhygienic ass off me. Perfect. With the wrong nigga. So yeah, this man Ryun just got humbled real quick. Bro took top mount and just started beating him. But while bro was getting the six beat out of him, he just started rambling about like just feelings and stuff. Bro was like, how do you feel, huh? How do you feel? And this man I and Koji looking at him like, uh, excuse me, but uh the f are you talking about? Why should I show any emotion against some weak ass trash like you? Just go ahead and just shut your mouth. Damn. But nah, I and Koji beat the soul out of this nigga. Beat him physically and mentally. Look at him after the fight. Bro looking like a Debbie Downer. All his spirit is just gone. Bro got his ass beat so bad he was about to drop out. And then you got a girl right here like, <sighs> Bro, what you, the was a man I used to know. That man gone, shorty. I'm a different man now. <laughs> you bitch ass nigga. You ain't worth it. Damn. 
Ma'am, this little Martinez motherfucker is out of control and he needs to be put down now. Jerome, calm down, I know. That's why I'm calling him. Him? Who is him? Jerome, you know exactly who I'm talking about. Him. Oh. Oh, oh God, ma'am, oh hell no! Yes, that's right, Jerome. Him. And we don't even have to call him because he's already here. Hey, hey, what the fuck? Oh, hell no. Hey, yo, when did this big ass Decepticon ass you get in here? Oh, Jerome, he's been here the whole time. He's just so powerful. You can't even sense his presence. Wait, what? Th that, that makes no sense. <clears throat> Jerome, can you process anything with all that chrome in your fucking dome? This is an anime, nigga. Nothing makes sense. Exactly. Adam, get your ass up. Tell him to go to work, you full metal nigga. Take Jerome with you. <laughs> I'm not an alchemist, bitch. So just call me full nigga. Full metal nigga. The full metal nigga. Oh god, I did I sign up for this job? Stand back, Jerome. <laughs> you see, my evil plans. <laughs> Shut your mouth, fugly. <sighs> I'm special. Please help me. Excuse me, but who the f are you? <sighs> Pardon? You ugly, three eyed looking nigga. You best shut the f up before I put a motherfucking bullet in your mouth. Go. God damn. Please. Did I tell you not to speak? <laughs> so you're the full metal nigga, Adam Smasher. Damn right, boy. And you're a nobody. Do you want to know why you're the main character of a prequel? Simple. Because you don't make it to the actual game. Huh. That's bullshit. Kid, let's not waste any time. Just shut the fuck up and let me make you a pack. Five minutes later. Oh, baby, you so fine. When we get back to the crib, I'm beating up them booty cheeks. Welcome back here, Romeo and Juliet. The star-crossed sons of bitches. Shakespeare made you a pack and so will I. Oh my god, y'all made it. Now get in the car so we can have our happy ending. Lord have mercy, making me go through all this shit for your dumb ass. Oh! Girl, trying to challenge me. You see, here's what I'm going to do to you. I am about to teabag the shit out of you and drag my metal chrome nuts across your fucking forehead. Nothing personal, but I have a reputation in a name that I have to keep in good standing. Adam, smash her. Yeah. Martinez, come out to play! Don't you want to end up like your little girly friend? Smash your man into a piece of meat? <laughs> Can't even show the body or else I'll probably get a guideline strike. You big team toes on the beat! Ooh. Now so you came to play, your metal cheeks are mine. Wait, you have a saying devastating? Damn right, little nigga. You think you're special or some shit? I told you, you're just a prequel character. Look at you on the ground. Now get ready to bend over. Oh, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to hack me, bitch? Mm. I have two-step authentication. Fuck off of my server. Oh, God. Access man. denied. Damn. <gasps> Where the hell do you think you're going, pussy nigga? <laughs> get the fuck off of my screen. Eat my metal dick. <laughs> Look at you. You're just scrap. I told you you wouldn't make the main game. Your sorry ass will just be remembered as a drink in the bar that nobody goes to. <laughs> at, at least my jacket is a DLC. Yeah, like anybody's gonna wear that shit. Eat a dick. Alrighty, well that's just gonna end it off for here right now. I will see you all in the next video. Till then, peace out.